is Hans George Campbell and tonight I'm out here at my shop and I want to show you guys uh, something that I've been working on. Um, recently I did a review on this SATA power switcher and so today I decided to go ahead and install it in my main computer and I want to show you you know basically what I did so okay I've got these beautiful red fans in the front here. Each fan has like 28 ruby red LEDs. They're absolutely gorgeous fans. But these fans, they also serve a purpose because behind these fans are my four mechanical hard drives. As I said before, I don't use SSDs. I actually prefer mechanical hard drives. And right behind this fan, I'll open up this one too. Yeah, I just put these fans in. They're brand spanking new. I've used them before and they're really nice fans. Good quality. They're quiet, you know. But yeah. Okay, so here labeled on the SATA power switcher, I've got for this button here is going to be my Windows XP hard drive. This button will be my Windows 7 hard drive. This button will be my Windows 10 hard drive, and this button will be my backup hard drive. Okay, and so this one here is these are brand new Seagate hard drives. Um, this one here is going to be my Windows XP hard drive. That one's my Windows 7 hard drive. This one's my Windows is my Windows 10 hard drive. And this hard drive here is my backup hard drive. And all four of these mechanical hard drives are hooked up to the back of this. And it works really good. Now normally, the only time I use Windows 10 is like when I'm doing online banking or eBay, PayPal, things like that, that are, that are going to eventually force everyone to use uh, Windows 10. Uh, Windows 7 is still my main Windows. I use that one all the time. I even play World of Warcraft on that one. Okay, But most of the games that I play and most of the powerful software that I use, like for video editing and audio editing and things like that, um, is on, on my Windows XP hard drive. I have literally tens of thousands of dollars worth of software on that hard drive, which I will be showing in a, in a near future video. Um, have all my favorite games. I probably got like 20, 30 games installed on that Windows XP hard drive. And the nice thing about this one is I don't have to be online to play those games or to use any of that software. I don't have to be online at all. Okay. And I have uh, uh, both the service packs. I have service pack 2 and 3 for Windows XP. I downloaded it before a Microsoft took it offline. I went ahead and downloaded both of the service packs. So after installing Windows XP Professional, I just go ahead right afterwards and install the drivers and I install the service packs. And it's all set up, ready to go. It works with all my hardware, you know. It just works great. And Windows 7, like I said, that's the main Windows that I use uh, right now. And I'll continue to use this until I can no longer use it because of, like I said, you know, a lot of the uh, financial institutions are going to force you to, to use Windows 10. But I can still use the software and the games and stuff that I run on Windows 7 offline. I don't have to be on the internet to use Windows 7. Like, I use um, the 64-bit version of Doom Builder and Doom Builder 64 to draw uh, maps for Doom, you know, for, for Z Doom and GZ Doom and, and, and Doom 64 EX. Um, I use 64 bit versions of that software, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'm still going to be using Windows 7. It's just that I don't have to use it online, I can use it offline. Okay. And Windows XP, same thing. That's Windows XP Professional. Okay. I have a lot of software, professional software that I spent thousands of dollars, like. Like uh, the full version of Adobe, uh, Adobe Acrobat. Not just a reader, 
but the actual program that is used to create the Acrobat Reader files. It actually creates those files, the full-blown program. And I have like Adobe Photoshop, I have Adobe Illustrator, I have a lot of powerful video editing software and audio editing software like Cool Edit Pro. Um, I have Office XP Professional, which includes front page, is what I use for creating my web pages. You know, so yeah, you don't have to use Windows 10 if you don't want to, except for, you know, like I said, your financial stuff online you can still use Windows XP and Windows 7 if you set it up in this way. Okay. Now I usually use the backup hard drive with Windows 7 and Windows 10. Usually to back up my YouTube videos, you know, until I can burn each one into their own DVD, you know. But yeah. I just wanted to show you guys what I was doing here, you know, how I have all this set up. And uh, I thought that you'd find it interesting, you know, because a lot of people, they don't know about this. You know, they think that they can only use just one Windows on their hard drive, and that's not true. Um, you can have separate hard drives, see? A Windows XP hard drive, a Windows 7 hard drive, a Windows 10 hard drive, and a backup hard drive. And it all works beautifully. Like when I want to uh, run Windows 7, I turn it on, okay, and I turn off Windows 10 and Windows XP. It's just that easy. When I want to run uh, Windows XP, I turn that on, and I make sure the Windows 7 and Windows 10 hard drives are turned off. It's just that easy. And of course, with Windows 10, I make sure this button is turned on, the hard drive is turned on, and I turn off Windows 7 and the Windows XP hard drives. And it works great. Each one of these hard drives are drive C. Except for the backup hard drive. That's drive D. Okay, so this system works really well. Anyway, I thought I'd show you guys this. Um, my name is Hans George Campbell. And until next time.